and welcome to Co-op Guild. This is Steve. I'm here alone, but we're going to be playing some Orange Shell Overcome again. So, welcome. Hey, I see we've got Brian here. Welcome, Brian. Hey, I poor roll up on my sword on that one. Hey, no worries. You got the highest score. So, well, <laughs> that counts. That counts, right? So, but yes, welcome. Uh, we're playing Orange Shell Overcome, like I mentioned before. This game we played, um, well, I know we were kind of off last week. Uh, uh, but, oh, Elaine, <laughs> we came in a little bit late. That's an amazing role, though. Uh, but yes, we're playing Orange Overcome. This is a game about the Dutch Resistance. Um, and this is jumping into Scenario 4, which I don't think I've played this scenario before. So this is going to be brand new to me. I played, uh, I think I've played 1, 2, and 3 quite a few times. So you guys will be learning along with me how Scenario 4 works. But... I wanted to bring this back to the table because I want to show you how solo mode works because playing solo is pretty different than playing um, multiplayer. Now, of course, you can dual hand this for sure. That's not an, not an issue. But this, there is rules for a true solo play, and that's what I'm going to demonstrate tonight. So, hey, man, nice to see you here. Welcome. <laughs> I'm with a super up guy, exactly. So, I have... Explain this game previously, so I won't go into as much detail. I'm going to be very brief on my explanation. I'm going to focus primarily on the scenario. But if you guys have any questions as we dive into it, let me know, and I will do my best to answer those questions. All right, so here we go. The board's set up. Um, this is the area we're working on. Uh, of course, we've got all our locations. Now, the locations are set by the scenario, so it doesn't matter which, scenario, which locations come out. Um, there's always three three locations that aren't used, uh, but we are going to be playing as actually let's just let's just jump into the snare itself. So uh, yeah, playing slow make it make this real feel like my key for sure. Um, yeah, let's talk about the scenario itself. So scenario four. So here it is. Let's do the. Theme. And unfortunately, I can't read that, so I'm going to pull up on my... over here real quick. Alright. Don't sign. The occupiers are forcing people to sign their loyalty pledges. You need to help two artists, a poet, and a violin player, who do not want to be part of the... Oh gosh, guys, I'm sorry. Koto Kamar? To be allowed to work. Bring them to three secret gatherings to perform and earn money. Students that do not want to sign the Loyal Loyalites vs. Flaken Flaregen also need your help. I apologize everyone to those pronunciations. So they need to be able to have three secret meetings. Make sure these places are totally safe and guide the students and artists to them. You're not alone in this. A local doctor and nurse are keen to help. They may they have plans to convince local authorities that you and the people you are helping are ill and very contagious. This may prevent nosy occupiers from getting too close at night. So yeah, there's a lot that's going on in this one. Uh, so let's talk about the goals real quick. What's going on here with my screen? Come here, screen. There we go. <laughs> hey, Matthew, how's it going? Nice to see you here. So, okay. So, don't sign. The goal is our alibi can't get down to zero, so that's normal. Our morale can't get down to zero, so it's normal as well. And then, um, if we can't draw an occupier card, basically run out of rounds, we lose. So, those are like the three common ways of losing. We have two new ones. We have a doctor or nurse. If they ever get arrested, we lose the game. So, they're going to be running around helping us out. We also have spot tokens. So, spot tokens, you'll see how that works, but basically, that's going to control... Uh, potential locations where the poet and the violin player can go. So, um, and those will will run out of those if they also get arrested too too much. So, so that's that's kind of what's going on here. Uh, the danger phase for this is students and artists are going to drop the safety of their location by one. The doctor and nurse, as see below, I'll pull it up here in a second. But basically, the doctor and nurse um, prevent uh, that location. Let me double check. Hold on. So you may, may be wrong with that one. Let's look at it together real quick. So, uh, the artists and students can only be moved past occupiers if there's a doctor or nurse on the location you move to. So the nice thing about it is if the doctor or nurse are, are at the location, your destination, 
and the artists and students move into that spot across occupier spots, basically someone with a halt card, we can ignore them, which is really great because basically the doctor and nurse say, hey, you know what? These people are contagious. You might want might to let them pass. Might bother them. You know, maybe do some hacking or coughing as you go through. So, uh, so that's great. So you don't resolve a halt, halt card when that happens. Um, and the doctor and nurse can walk by occupiers without effect. So they can just walk past them, no issue. But they can't move with us. They have to move on their own. They move on their own, and then the artists and students, we have to escort. That's the kicker. Okay. And the big thing about doctor and nurse is their locations, sorry. These locations at the, these tokens keep the locations safe from any safety loss during the, during the uh, danger night phases. So the nice thing of them is we put them in a spot and just the safety will never go down for them, which is excellent. Now it still can go down during the action phase when we're taking our action things, move across all that, all that stuff. So there's still a chance it could get arrested in that way, but otherwise they're, they're safe. Okay, cool. And the secure locations are where we need to prepare meetings for this one. Uh, so that's where we need for the uh, the students. The students need to have a secure location for that. As far as I understand it, I don't think the artists need a safe, uh, secure location. I think it's only for the students. Um, and there's things when when we achieve these, we'll I'll explain what that happens when we get to that point. The tracks on here, and then let me point it out. So here's the meeting track down here. This is going to dictate where the students need to go. So the first meeting, we need to have two students, and we can either go to city location one or four. And you'll see uh, briefly, actually you can see it here in the corner. This is meeting location one. It's got a little cost associated with it. So we need to pay that cost and it has to be at max safety and we can make that a safe location it means it it won't get the safety won't ever drop for that one as well and then we have to move the students there once all the students are there and the location is secured um, we will complete one of those and then we'll have to have meeting two which will meet with three students at one of these other two locations and that also has to be secure and finally meeting three five students at one of these two locations also secure so we have to do that three times that's one of our goals our other goal is artists. So there's going to be these, um, actually you can see over here, I've got the spot tokens down there. So we don't know which ones they are, but we will be able to peek at these and try to figure out which three locations are eligible for either the violin player or the uh, the poet to perform at. So basically two of these three will, will move the artist or violin player there and will advance their token along this track wherever it needs to go, right? And once we do that three times for each of them, that that's completed as well so a lot of moving people around a lot of manipulation in this one uh, this is definitely one of the more advanced scenarios there are currently five in the box and there's a fifth one that you haven't seen yet but i want to show this one how that works okay cool <laughs> no nah it's just a scenario dan no worries <laughs> no worries <laughs> I love how you guys are always here and so friendly. I love it. Hey, oh, I didn't see Greg join. Hey, Greg, how's it going? Hey, Dan. So nice to see you guys here. So cool. Cool, 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 cool. Let's talk about... <laughs> There's like a lot of moving parts of my small attention span. This one's a more complex scenario for sure. For sure. It, it's funny because I originally planned for scenario one, um, but I, I sent a message to the designer. And be like, hey, man, I'm playing, playing scenario one solo mode, just so you know. He's like, hey, yeah, um, it'd be kind of cool to show a different one because scenario one's going to be shown a lot. I'm like, that's a good point. So I decided to jump to scenario four, which I've not played before. So this might might go bad. We'll find out. <laughs> we'll find out. Okay. Let's talk about who I'm playing. I'm playing as Jacoba Van Tong Tongeren. So a social worker. Um, the cool thing about her is she is pregnant. I use that term lightly because... If you see in the picture there, she's got a special suit. And let's look here at the card example. So here's all her cards that we'll have, we'll be playing. And this one is unique to her. She actually has a fourth card. Most people don't have this. So this one's cool because I've got four extra slots to store goods. These are the bodysuit that's underneath her clothes. And um, it is why she is pregnant because it's going, she was able to stuff um, contraband, all like, 
all the, the stuff that we need to sneak across uh, checkpoints and uh, get away with that. So it's the it's the quotations pregnant here as well, which is also cool because if I do a one movement and I'm not escorting items, which items aren't in this game, but we do have the occupiers. I mean, not occupiers, the um, person's fighting. If we move across a checkpoint um, with this card, we can ignore them. Because they see the pregnant lady and like, well, that's fine. We'll, we'll let them pass. We'll let them pass. So, <laughs> um, actually, Matt, this is based on a true story. These, these are real people. So this actually did happen. So this is a real person who did have a bodysuit to pretend she was pregnant. So this is actually accurate. And there's a whole backstory in the back of that. That's what this game is really, um, really cool. How they, how you took the, the concepts of these people who are actually went through this and uh, applied it in game mechanics. It's a very, very cool design. <laughs> so yeah, uh, so that's that's cool. Um, mechanically, <laughs> Mrs. Doubtfire. Oh my gosh, I should have prepped that meme. That is amazing, Dan. <laughs> that's amazing. I love it. Uh, carry the burden. If my four special slots over here are full. Um, when I play this card, automatic morale boost, which is awesome. And then the last one, group 2000, which I'm not sure what that's a reference to, to be honest. I might have to ask. I'm not sure. But uh, normal action or move slower to uh, move or gain or spend information to get helpers. So that's a nice way to get helpers join us. So. <laughs> I'll just say I'm not bad. I'm just wearing a bodysuit filled with contraband. No one believes me. We know, Brian. We know. <laughs> so <laughs> nice. Okay, so yeah, I think this character is a really cool design. Very, very interesting. So yeah, we'll be filling up that suit first before we even get to our our player board. So remind you the oh, that's not the player board. The player board is this one here. So you can see there in the resources resources, then we'll we'll have four free items to run around. And then the remaining three will be added to this board to uh, affect uh, safety. So, cool. Last thing to talk about is solo mode. So this is this is going to be different. Solo mode comes with this group. So we're going to have a resistance group help us out. So there are four choices, basically. Two groups, and there's for each group, there's a basic side and a challenging side. I chose the basic side for this one. I chose group one. But um, you can make it harder by flipping this card over, or you can choose the other group just for some variety. It's very interesting how this works. But what's going to happen is we're going to be putting out these uh, tokens, these request tokens. These are the resistance uh, members who are helping us out. And these can go on any locations you want, straight up. And then during the action phase, if we're at that location, we can use it. This is a free action, just use it. And we use it, we do what it says here. In this case, we get any resource we want, but we do drop the safety of that location by one. And then once we use it, we flip it over, mark it's been used. Now, in the event we do not use these tokens and the danger phase comes up, for each of these, we'll flip them over to use them. And then we will instead get the danger phase effect, which says um, we'll get plus one morale and plus two safety to that location. So we can use these two for fold. We can actually use them to um, get us free stuff, or we can actually use them in a remote location, for example, and maybe improve safe, safety in there. Now, we do have an extra rule during danger phase. If we have at least two resources on our player board, we have to drop safety in our current location. Now, this is going to be particularly useful with our pregnancy suit because hopefully we won't have many resources on a board. <laughs> we'll see what happens. Um, hey, Mike, how's it going? No Kim this time? No. <laughs> Unfortunately not. Uh, a second can play would have helped me convince me I need this one. <laughs> yes, yes. She is um, traveling again. So unfortunately, it's just me this week. So I would love, to, she would love to be here. Trust me. <laughs> All right. That is enough explanation. Let's, let's start playing. Okay. So starting over here in meeting place, that is the starting location for uh, Jacoba, and, oh, one last thing, I apologize, 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 let's talk about the scenario actions real quick, because that is going to be very important to make sure we keep track. 
Um, here they are. So let's talk about this. These are the unique actions we do. Prepare a meeting, spend an action point, and the resources on the cost tokens at the location. Location needs to be at max safety, and then we can make that location secure. Won't, safety won't drop again. Um, next performance, it can spend an action point to turn over a spot token art, artist track. That is over here. So, or over here, I have a point over here too. So that's go, that will give us information on where we can go. And of course, we can move the doctor or nurse. Now, we if we're at the spot of the doctor or nurse, we can tell them to move um, up to two spaces wherever they need to. And they, remember, they can cross checkpoints. Now, if we use a um, morale action, basically anything, any of these actions over here on this track, we can do that from any location, meaning we don't have to be at their spot to remotely ask them to move to a different location. So that's going to be useful to know. All right. Now I think we're done. Sorry about that. Wanted to make sure we cover that before we start playing. I play, yeah, I'm mostly solo, but I play a lot of co-ops two-handed. They seem better designed for it. I'm doing well. Okay, yeah. Yeah, uh, co-ops two-handed tend to work pretty well. But sometimes the solo modes, if they're different, they can add different strategies to it. And you might see that here. So I wanted to demonstrate that this one. Okay. Let's start playing. First thing we need to do is draw our occupier card. So we get, should I help? So this is going to happen at the end of our action phase. If or actually the end of playing our three actions, if you're on a location with a person hiding, um, minus two alibi and minus two safety in our location, or if you're not on a location with a person hiding, minus three morale. Oh, so we don't have a choice. Our choices are, we can't choose left or right. It's left or right. Dependent on if we're at a location with a person hiding. I feel like the morale would be easier for us to manage. So I think our goal this time is not to be at the location of the person hiding. Okay. <laughs> there are lots of moving parts in this scenario for sure. For sure. So there might be a lot more mistakes in this playthrough. I apologize. <laughs> we'll see what happens. Okay. Well, let's take a look at our cards and figure out what we want to do here. Um, I can't move with... Oh, you know what? Actually, the first thing I should do, honestly, is probably figure out where we can bring the artists. So let's do that first. So first thing is, let's use this action, this board, and let's flip over. Let me zoom over here so you guys can follow along. Should be this button. Yeah, this button here. Let's look at this location. So we can take, so seven is one of the spots we can bring, to have, one of the spots we have a performance at. Seven is right here. That is at the university. We have the poet here and the violin player here. One, let's see, one, two, that. Actually, one, to I have to get over there though that's a problem. Okay, let's give us another choice. Let's do this again. Let's take it take a look at the next one because I'm not sure that's a great option. Three. Three. So that is down here. That's really nice. That's a one connection right there. And that's already at max safety, which is great. So if I can escort the poet here, that could be a really easy performance to target for this first goal. And I have a clear path this direction. Actually, I have a huge, a clear path this whole way, which is pretty nice. To complete a performance, ours must en must end their action phase. Must end. The action phase on a location with a face-up spot token. Ah, so the it's at the end of the action phase we'll resolve it. It's not like during the in the middle of the phase. Okay, so that's good to know. The question is, guys, should we take a peek at the last one, the last spot token? Use another action for that, or should we just start moving and doing what we know for for now? This guy, one, two, three, four. He needs two actions to get there. That's not too bad. Okay. 
we also need to unlock these two locations. So this one up here requires one money, four food stamps, and one con contacts. And this one over here requires two money, one one uh, food stamps, one... Oh, man. I forget what all these resources are. Hold on a second. What are these resources? Documents. Documents and one info to do that one. Okay. So I need this one for sure. Trying to see if I can double up things. Where's the bank? The bank is, where's the bank? Where's the bank? Bank's up here. He's surrounded by all these policemen. That's not great. That's not a good situation. Actually, I can walk through them. That's not that bad. I need the food stamps, which are, oh, wait, before we start everything, you know what I forgot? These tokens. I sh I forgot I need to put these tokens down before we do anything. So, um, good news is we only looked at some tokens. It's not the end of the world, but let's see. What would make sense? Let's put one. Let's put one up here. I probably won't get to that one, but that's okay. I want to improve the safety of that location. And I think we're going to move this direction. So let's drop one here and here, I guess. Get some resources going. Oh, wait. actually, no, we don't want there because that's going to drop the safety of that location. We'll put it here and here. There we go. Okay. Okay. Where are the food stamps? Right there. Distribution office. Okay. Cool. So let's do our first action. Let's play group 2000. And I'm going to choose the top option for now. I'm not going to bother bottom with the bottom effect. So let's go ahead and move two spaces. One, let's go ahead and use this as our first option as we're moving here. And we're going to do this for free. And as a reminder, what that does is we get any re resource we want and we drop the safety of the location by one. So I think we want contacts, yellow. So we'll put that in our handy dandy pregnancy suit right over here. Perfect. All right. So that is used. And let's finish up our movement. So that's one, two. We have another one here. Let's go ahead and use that right away as well. This is also free. Let's get some money. Put it in our pregnancy suit as well. Okay. Now I want to try to figure out how I can do this efficiently. Let's do this to move another two spaces, one, two, to the distribution office. And now I want to escort you. <laughs> There's some people in safety for a few bucks. <laughs> uh, let's go ahead. Let's go ahead and use this action, carry the burden. I'll. I'll use the action to trigger the effect of the distribution office to get two food stamps. So boom, boom. We are now full of that. And nice thing about the carry the burden is it says if you have all four special spots on your special character card filled with resources, we get plus one morale. Woo! Yeah. Okay. Now, this will work out okay. This will work out okay. So let's go ahead and use this one to move twice. One, two, right down here. Oh, you know what? There's a slight problem to this in that the patrol is gray and we have a police officer here. There's a chance he might. Oh, he's not gonna arrest this. That's okay. That's okay. We're okay. Move there. 
And now I need to increase the safety of that and then walk away. So let's use this to increase the safety. Not gonna bother rolling die because it's whatever roll's going. I just need one to make it safe. And then my last action, I'm gonna play. Yeah, play my pregnant guard, and I can move kind of wherever I want. I think my thought is. I have the resources I need to unlock the set up the printer. I need to get the the students there. So I'm gonna use my pregnant to move through this occupier spot to the zoo. I can do that because I'm not with anybody. And so they just let me pass. Let me pass. Okay. That's it. Here we go. We have should I help? We have to look at this. Um we are not on a location with a person hiding, so our morale is gonna drop three. One, two, one, two, three, down to sixteen. Okay. That was that. Now, let's do the danger phase. Did I miss anything? I don't think I did. Yeah, don't think I did. So let's do this together because we do successfully escort one person so far. And that's going to be this one. Yeah, here we go. Artist tokens. To complete a performance, an artist must end the action phase, which we just did, on a location with a face up spot token. Which we... Oh, you know what? I totally messed up. <laughs> you know what I did? I'm an idiot. I put them here instead of here. I'm going to wreck on that and just... I could have dropped them off here. That's fine. We'll leave everything as is. I didn't have to increase the safety of that location, but I'm not going to worry about it. I could have dropped them off there and just kept moving. I'm not worried about it. Okay. <laughs> so, sorry about that. Leave them here. Slight retcon. It's a few things going on in this game, guys. A few things. <laughs> so, <laughs> okay. Um, getting back to what we're looking at here. So let's look at this. Um, to complete our, this, they are at a location with a face-up spot token. This case must have maximum safety, which is true. We place a spot token on the performer with a performance token. We place a spot token back in the box. Gain one more out. Whoop whoop. Artists cannot count as a person hiding. Okay, that's fine. We don't have to work with that. Cool. So what that means is we come over yonder and this three was completed. So we remove that, that's out of the game and we move the poet there. So now that's one of the performances done. <laughs> we call it chat and distraction right now. I take the blame. Appreciate it, Mike. Appreciate it. <laughs> Appreciate it. Okay. Oh, and we get one morale for that. So let's boost that up once. Cool. Now we do danger phase. At the start of the danger phase, we do have to do our, um, is that the right button? Our resistance stuff, this is for solo mode. So for each one we, that was not used, we're gonna use it to get plus one morale and plus two safety. So what that means is we have one way up here, we flip that over, get plus one morale and plus two safety there. Boop, awesome. Okay, now we do the regular danger stuff. And I'm trying to make sure we're not missing anything because there's a lot going on here. So let me look at the danger stuff here. Um, doctor and nurse, don't drop anything. Students and artists drop it by one. Okay, so one here, one here. And I believe because there's two students here, that drops twice. It seems, oh, sorry, you, sorry, you didn't see it. Drop two here, drop one here, and drop one here. Okay. I think it's two because there's two two students there. That seems like it might be rough because later on, actually no, because later on the students won't be piled in the same location generally. So, hey, board game officer, nice to see you here. Welcome. Crap. Now it is regular danger phase stuff. So I'm at the zoo. My danger level is actually doing ex excellent, to be honest. So come over here. I have nothing here. And not my alibi is not dropped down. So we drop the zoo zero spaces. Because all my, my goods are hidden in my pregnancy suit. So, ha, ha, ha. Love it. Cool. 
Now we do the patrol phase. So let's see the bad stuff. Now this is what I was worried about because it's gray. Actually, no, because I screwed up, this is okay if they move. We're, we're totally fine if they move. Oh, one thing I will mention is these resistance markers, they can get arrested. If they get arrested, they're out of the game. You don't get them back. That's bad news bears. <laughs> so let's see what happens here. Uh, minus one morale. Okay. Uh, minus one um, location in the in the countryside. So let's see what that is. That's five. So look in the board. Location five is this one here. That drops one. And it says here, all soldiers in the gray area will move white. All policemen move black. So policemen's going to move black. I think this is the only one we have. Yeah, this is the only one. He's going to go to H, which is up here. Oh, no! He moved right through us. So that's going to drop this but one by one. And we are going to take an alibi hit by one. Bummer! Bummer! <sighs> rats. Rats, rats. Okay. Um, I was hoping we could avoid getting a morale hit because, yeah, that's, that's okay. It is what it is. All right, that's it. Round two. This game goes really fast. Let's see what we got for our next scenario card. Checking credentials. Oh, one thing I'll also mention is this deck is actually smaller as well due to playing solo. That's the other change. Okay, on locations with the doctor and nurse, they will drop the safety by two and morale by one. Or a road connected to an artist or students, we have to upgrade it, which means either turn a policeman into a soldier or turn or add a policeman to the board. Okay, I'm probably going to do the second option, to be honest, but we'll see what happens. All right, that's it. And we are moving green patrol. Let's see where we put these tokens. And let me know what you guys have ideas on how to approach this one. Because like I said, I have not played the scenario before. Because we are currently here. My thought was... My thought was to try to get the students up here. I can make that a safe location. I get the students up there. We also need to get maybe the artist here, bring him over that location. Yeah, we have some options here. Okay, well, let's figure out where we put our resistance, um, resistance, uh, bulk. Um, We're for sure going to the printer. Let's put one at the printer. Let's put one at the hospital. And let's put one at... This guy wants to go where? He wants to go to... Seven or someplace else. What is seven? Seven is the university. Let's put it at the university. Okay. Put our three helpers down. All right. Let's do this thing. Now, the question is, can I... Can I get our violinist over here? Not easily. Oh, wait. We get all these actions. Let me do that real quick. There we go. Hmm. Yeah. I'm trying to figure out. Because I can move here. I can move with them through this this officer because we have the um the nurse and the doctor there. Which is nice. Because they can, like, hey, we're sick. Ignore us. Walk it. Let's go through. So that's pretty nice. Well, I'm tempted on. Can't, I'm, I'm tempted. Can I get over here to get the violinist and bring him to the university? Do I backtrack a little bit? 
If I move, I can move through here as pregnant. That'd be one. One, two, three, four, five. That's an one, two, three, four, five. That's three, six. One, two, three, four, five. No matter what, it's six spots. That might be worth it, though. I think it might be worth grabbing the violinist, drop him off here. And see if we can't make that work. Okay, we'll try it. I'm going to play my pregnant card. I'm going to move one space with that. Let's go through this checkpoint here. Okay, that one's done. Let's let's grab the violinist. Oh, actually, what would be even smarter is if I use this action to move the nurse over this direction. And then I can go a lot quicker back this direction. Yeah, rather than going all the way around. That makes way more sense. Then let's go ahead and use this action to grab the violinist. One, two... Yep, this works nicely. Another one. One, two. So I'm now there with the violinist. I need to improve that location. So let's go ahead and do carry the burden. So it's going to improve our morale by one because I'm full on the pregnancy suit. And let's go ahead and do the improve the safety. I need to get a three or higher. Three or higher. Five. Perfect. Full, fully safe. Okay, I have two more actions left. This is gonna work out, yeah, this is gonna work out pretty well. Oh, I have a request to, to, token here though as well. Um, do I wanna get a resource? Yes, let's get a resource. Let's get info. Flip it over and we'll get an information token. Oh wait, hold on a second. If I do this, that drops the safety of location by one. Nope, not gonna do it. That is just gonna stay there. That was probably a bad move by me. That's okay, <laughs> let it happen. Okay, let's go ahead and do this action. Oh, do we have to, can you escort more than one person at a time? I forget if that's even an option. Maybe this is not going to work because I can only move one person at a time. I forget. I forget how this, how the escort works. You know, I probably said last game how that works and I just, I just forgot. There it is. When moving over roads, you can only take one person hiding. Yep. One person. Bummer. If I can move both of them, I'd be able to do this turn. That's okay, though. We can make work. Move one student. One, two, to here. Now, I can do that because the doctor's up there. And our last action, I'm going to do the group 2000. So I'm going to do the just normal action for that one. And that's going to spend this cost token. So the cost token is one money of four. Uh, oh, no, I don't have four. Oh, you know what I could do? Before I do that, let's go ahead and use this request. We'll drop it down one. I I won't be able to get this turn. We'll get a food stamp here. As we ran by, we could have done this one as well. Oh, that doesn't drop the safety. That's actually nice. Get another food stamp. 
Oh, actually, that does work out because then our last action would be. No, I can't because that has to be at full safety. I can't. I can't do it. Cannot do it, Captain. So our last action will be something different. <laughs> something different. Hey, Janice, to see you here. Hey, thanks for stopping by, Matthew. Have a good night. Have a good night. Let's improve our safety of that location. Which, I can roll the die, but it doesn't matter what it is. It's going to be at max. So, there we go. Oh, yeah. That's going to be last action. Now we have to do our occupier card. I'm going to choose this one. A rogue connected to his artist or student. And let's upgrade somebody. Let's upgrade you down here. There we go. Okay. That was that card. Now we do danger phase. Danger, danger. So, first thing we'll do is look at this one. Nice thing about this one is we have the uh, violin in there. It's at full safety, so that is going to complete our next one. So, that's going to be the seven. It's going to be gone. And we put his marker up there. So, two performances done. And that will give us one more morale. Okay. Nothing else from that standpoint. We have this one, which is... Yeah, so then we're going to do the bad stuff now. Which is going to be... Drop the safety of this one by two because the artist and the uh, student, sorry, student and the violinist is there. This one is going to drop by one because of the student and two because of me. Because I've got minus one here and another minus one. So it's going to be three. One, two, three. Okay. Benefit of here is this one is going to get used. It's going to increase our morale by another one and increase the safety of this by two. That's back up to max safety. Okay. So that is all the danger stuff. Yep, that's all the danger stuff. Woo, there's a lot of stuff going on in this one, guys. <laughs> a lot of stuff going on. Now we need to do the patrol. So moving green. Moving green, flipping over. So drop our morale by one. Uh, we have to roll for a city location, so let's see what it is. By the way, guys, if you guys want to roll a d6, I will just keep track of it in the chat, and we'll just use your rolls for the patrol stuff. So four. Four. This one gets hit. Okay, and then all soldiers in the green move white, and all policemen move black. So this guy, this guy... Oh, he's in he's he's in green too. That guy. Okay, so the soldiers are moving white. Oh no, he's moving right through us here and here. Yeah, he moves through us. So that's gonna be two hits. One, two. That's not good at all. And then my alibi gets hit twice. Oh boy. This one is gonna move black here. Luckily, our doctor there doesn't drop it at all. This one's going to move to C. Nurse there doesn't drop that at all. And that is it for the movement. Wow. That location got hit hard. It got hit hard. But it didn't get raided. We're okay. Could be a lot worse. Next round. Here we go. Where to go if you're in the city? Um, that effect. If you're in the uh, countryside, minus three alibi. Minus three alibis can be really bad for us right now, so we kind of want to stay in the city. <laughs> hey, no worries. Thanks, Jen, for stopping by. Yeah, this one's hard to catch on in the middle. There's a lot going on in this scenario, so I apologize. This is a very complex one. There we go. Let's figure out our cards. And let's figure out what we're going to do for our resistance fighters. Where do we put them? Well, first, let me do this while we think about where to put the resistance fighters. So let's look at all our actions this time. I need to have... kind of like leaving one here, because we're already there. 
<laughs> it's a cool game, John. It's a very cool game. I appreciate you stopping by. It's a, I, this might be my last playthrough before I do the review, uh, stream that is. But I plan to do a review for this one. Um, this one will be coming back to the channel for sure, though. Oh, uh, speaking of which, I should mention that as well. Uh, this is coming back to Kickstarter with an expansion. It's coming back. I'm not exactly sure when. I know it was going to be, um, it felt pretty soon, but I think that might be pushed out a little bit. So um, I still think it's going to be this year. And I will let you guys know when that happens. But you'll be able to get this game plus the expansion if you're interested. So, uh, yeah, be on the lookout for that if, you're, if you like what you see. The kicker is I don't know where I need to go because I don't know those spot tokens. So let's play it safe. Let's put one. Let's see what spot needs needs. We'll put down here. Yeah, because if I get down there, that can improve my um alibi greatly. Actually, the hospital would be really good for that too, to be honest. Um. Okay. Let's put another one. Did not drop the safety down on this one. You know what? I missed this location. That should get hit too last time. I'll put one here. Cool. Okay. Now let's do our stuff. I need to improve the safety of that location. If I secure that location, get the student there, which is easier said than done. No, actually, it's not too bad. Not too bad. Because what it can do is. With one action, command remotely command the nurse to move two spaces over here. So now I can just walk through these checkpoints with people and not worry about them. So that's pretty nice. And the safety of that location is not going to drop any further, which is super nice. <laughs> okay. There we go. Next one. Let's go ahead. <laughs> Danger zone! <laughs> hey, Michael. How's it going? Nice, nice seeing you stop by. Um... One, two, yes. Okay. We're just going to do this. Two actions. What I'm going to do is I'm going to run one, two, three, four. Grab the student, run back here. Okay. That's what I want to do. Now, I'm going to play carry the burden. So give me an action because my uh, pregnancy suit is full, plus one morale. So love that card. The card's amazing. I love keeping morale up high in this game. Get those all those good actions. Now I'm at two, I need to get seven, so I need a five or six. Five or six. Oh, six, perfect. That was amazing, okay. That's awesome. Now what we're gonna do is this action here to spend our resources, which we have two food stamps, or four food stamps, one money and one contacts, which is exactly what we need for this cost token. And that's now gone. And it's going to make this a secure location, which is cool because you get these little windows here. <laughs> so, um, and let's make some room. Now, until the meeting happens there, and the meeting happens, I think, during the danger phase. I'll check that real quick. Um, but we have the two students there. Yeah, that's really cool. Got the window there, peeking in. That's nice. The nurse is there too, just because. And the request token's still there. Okay, well, let me double check the rules. Because I don't know if we, we resolve that immediately. Oh, not that one, sorry. This one here. As soon as the number of needed students are at a location with a secure token. Oh, that's as soon as it happens. They hold a meeting. Cool, okay. So the meeting's happening immediately, which is nice. Um, we move a meeting token onto the corresponding spot of the meeting's track. So uh, what that means is we come over... Actually, my head's in the way, so um, let me... Oh, I used to have that in a different spot. There we go. We took my head away for a second. So what that means is we take this token. Because it's at 1 is where we did this, we put that at the 1 spot. That's what that is. We've got two more of those to do. Okay. So that is the first part of it. 
Um, let's see. Put the students back at the bottom of the stack and take all secure tokens. Take all, um, sorry, that. Take all secure tokens off the board. Oh, okay, so the other one goes away too. That's good to know. Oh no, secure tokens. That's that's the windows. Um, if the me if there are any meetings left, place the number of needed students for the next meeting on random city city locations specifically, not countries, country locations. Determined by die rolls. Place a new face up cost token on each of the next two possible meeting locations. Okay. But we do get a reward of a helper card. And I'll show you what that is in a little bit. We did not see the helper cards last playthrough. That's gonna be new for this playthrough. So let's do this all this fun stuff. So what that means is this secure token comes off immediately. I guess I didn't have to place that so carefully. These will go on the bottom of a stack of of uh, students. And then what we're gonna do is draw the next set. Now the next set is down here. It says there's three of them. So we'll draw three more students and we're gonna place them on the board. Um, I'll we'll put this back here and our nurse is still there and we're still there. Okay, cool. So let's do the die rolls. And these are in city locations, five. That's gonna be right here. One, that's in our location. <laughs> you didn't join the meeting? Come on, another one in our location. So we got, well, at least the nurses there not to have that drop in safety. So that's good. All okay. right. Oh wait, they don't drop in safety during the night phase, the danger phase. No, oh, it's a night phase. We're good. Yep, yep. We're playing. We're playing it right. Okay, so now we need to remove this from the board. And the next two locations are here, three and five, three on the countryside and five city. So five cities right here. So that's gonna have this token, which is gonna be one food stamps, two contacts and one um, documents. And then the other one is gonna be three here, which is gonna be one money, two contacts and two of anything. Okay. Actually, and we have to get three students there. We have one student already there, which is kind of convenient, honestly. But we also, this is not far to get those students down there. Oh, before I forget everything, we do have the helper card. So I'm going to choose this one. There's two stacks. You can choose which of the two face-up cards you want to do. I'm going to choose this one. And this is just an extra res resistance fighter that's helped you out. So this one, uh, so if you know the road, we can used to stay undetected because there are not many occupation forces there. So this looks as downgrade. Downgrade one of the um, um, occupiers. That goes on the bottom of the stack. So what do we want to get rid of? I feel like... We have yellow moving. I don't like how these guys are together, and so is those those two guys over here. Let me get rid of one of these guys. And he just comes off the board. Downgrade could be from a soldier to a police officer, or remove a police officer from the board. Okay. That's the help of cards. Cool! We still have three more actions we can take. The um, doctor could come down here, which would be pretty convenient to keep that from dropping. Okay. Okay. <clears throat> we don't know where the artists need to go. If I stay there with the nurse, that is not going to drop at all in safety which is maybe a decent option. Yeah, that's a pretty decent option. So I think what I'm gonna do, let's use this request to get a information token. That's gonna go into our suit.
Yep. Okay. The other thing we do, I'm gonna play. Do I need to move someone? Don't know if I need to move someone. Yes, I want to move people down here. Hmm. I can't do what I want to do. I'm trying. I'm trying to. I'm trying to do too many things. Is what it comes down to. I'm trying to do too many things. Oh, that is convenient. Okay, here's what we're gonna do. I'm gonna do group two thousand. Move. We'll do the bomb section. I'm gonna move zero to one. And then I have the input information token I'm gonna use right away. So I'm gonna bring a student with me down here. I'm gonna spend that information token to gain this helper. So this helper is gonna be plus three of my alibi, which is excellent because that's gonna pull me all the way up to 10. It's now I'm not gonna have a negative effect from my alibi anymore. So that was that card. Got two more actions left. Let's just move another spot with a student down here. And my last action, let's use this one to command or ask the doctor to come down here. Okay. That is it. feel like that was okay so far. Then what I really need to do, I'm, I've got a student on here. I can try to get the student over here, which isn't, which is maybe the best, next best approach. And we keep this as a next meeting location. But I also need to figure out where these artists need to go. Okay, here we go. Unless we have to Oh, I didn't do this right. Uh, it's okay. <laughs> We're in the countryside. Our alibi drops by three. <laughs> so all that work. <laughs> but at least the nice thing is, um, it could have been a lot worse. Okay. So that was that card. Now we do our danger phase. So I'm just make sure I'm doing this right. Let me make sure I'm doing this. Right. I, I intentionally moved the nurse and doctor because. My understanding, the special rules here, these tokens keep the location safe from any safety losses. That's correct. Okay, so that is correct. So this would have a safety loss, but because we have a doctor here, nothing happens. This would have the safety loss, but because we have a nurse here, nothing happens. The only safety loss we have is this one here because of the violinist, and this one here because of the student. Okay. And then we get to do this here. This request token is going to get used, which makes our morale go up one and two safety on that location. And the other token is down here, which is going to move our morale up again, which is fine, and that's safety up. Okay, that is it. Yep, no other, no other ill effects. That's it. Now we move on to patrol, which is yellow. Where's our yellow patrol? We have this guy. He's the only patrolman. Yep, he's the only patrolman. There we go. Minus one morale, of course. Roll for a city location. Six, which is the zoo gets to get hit. Totally fine with the zoo get hit. That's the best one to get hit. All soldiers in that zone are out. Doesn't matter. All policemen in the zone move white. So this one's going to move to P, which is through this one down here. That's going to hit this one once. Okay. The hospital once. And I think that's it. Yes, that is it. Okay. Next card Occupier card. Eyes everywhere. Uh,. Minus two location for one student or artist that is not at a location with a secured token, if possible. I think that happens no matter what. And then we have the option down here. We did choose minus one morale and minus one random city location, or minus one alibi and minus one to random 
countryside location. Probably gonna do the left option for that one. Okay. We haven't had any of these Hulk cards, which is convenient. So we have, let me think about this. We've got a student here and an artist there. Let's pull these back. And where do we want to put these down? I'm worried about that location. Put one there. I know I'm going to go back up here. So let's put one here. And I think we'll just leave it here for now. Yeah, let's do those three locations. Okay. Oh, and we get our morale back up from me. All five of them. So yeah, you guys can see how the solo mode works. I think it works really well, honestly. I really like these tokens and to the board. Adds another decision space that I really enjoy. So I need to get money, contacts, which is right here, actually. And then two of anything we want. Okay. I have a free path back and forth. I just need to get this student over there, which is a free path this direction. Yeah, it's a free path that direction. Now, the kicker is if I move the students now, if I complete that now, we're going to add five students to the board, which is going to be harder to manage. I'm wondering if I do the artists first and then save, save all the students for last. So let's do this. Let's figure out some options here because we don't know where you need to move these, these artists to. So let's do the first thing is to spend an action. Let's look at one of these tokens. Um, we'll just do a generic action for that one, one of our morale type tokens. So let's flee, see what this one is. Three, three in the city. That is right here, the bank is really close to the violins. Not too close for me, but I can, let's see, I can go one, two, one, two. Actually, that's not too bad. Two actions get up there. That's, that's definitely doable. Definitely doable. Let's do another action to look at the next one. Let's look at the next one down. Five on the countryside down here. That's actually really easy to do because I have the um, the poet with, with me. Cool, we have a plan. We have a plan. <laughs> okay. Let's go ahead and work on those two this turn. First thing is let's get a resource. What resource do we need? Um, we need these resources. So let's get a uh, some money. Money, money, money. Put it in our suit. Sweet. And... Oh, that drops the safety of this location. Okay. Then let's go ahead and just do a regular move. Let's do with this two spaces. One, two, move the hairdresser, which is one of the locations for the performance. Okay, now I need to get this guy up here. So let's go another two spaces, one, two, here. Okay. And then let's do group 2000 to move zero to one and get an information token for the second option. So that'll move him up here. I get an information token. Boop. Into the suit. So now, That has to be safe. This is already safe. That has to be safe. Okay. So let's go ahead and... I'm just going to use my pregnant card for the action to make it safe. I'll try to make it safe. Roll the dice. Three. Perfect. Fully safe. So secure, secure. So we can complete both those this turn, which is excellent. Now I've got two more actions left over. I think we come over to the church. Let's do that as an action. Move two spaces. 
one, two. Use the request token. I'm just gonna drop the safety of that. But we can get any resource we want. We need contacts here. Got one action left. Yeah, we're just gonna run. Just gonna run. I'm gonna do carry the burden, it'll be an action. So, carry the student, one, two, right down here. Um, and then the second part of that says if I'm full on my my um, pregnancy uh, vest, which I'm not, so I don't get the morale uh, boost for that one. But that is all the actions, all the actions. Okay. However, I think we got some cool stuff going on now because I think we, we took care of both those artists. So I'm gonna walk through it again because I feel like I'm gonna miss something if I don't do this. Oh, not not that one. Am I missing something? Hold on, move the actions. Next performance. No, no, we've been playing this right. Prepare meeting. Yep, yep. I think we're playing this right. Okay. So to complete the form performance, artist must be and must end the action phase on a location with a face of spot token. Five and three. Those are both accurate. That's true. Um uh, both have maximum safety, yep. Replace the spot token within the next one. Gain one morale. Perfect. Okay, cool. So what that means is they're both in the right spots. The violinist will replace three. That's now out of the game. And the um, poet is going to replace five. And then we would get one morale for each of those, but we're at max morale. So, okay. Awesome. Now we have to do the danger phase, which is not awesome. <laughs> okay. Danger phase here is going to be one, two, three. Sorry, one, two for the um, student and violinist. And then me, I contribute one more to that because my alibi is lower. This one will drop, but the doctor's here prevents it. That one will drop, but the nurse here prevents it. This one will drop one because the violinist is there. Okay. And I think that's all we have to do for the danger phase. Oh, unused token up there. That's going to effectively do nothing. Because <laughs> um, morale's up high and the safety's up high in that spot too. Okay, that's it for the danger phase. Let's do the patrol phase. Portion drop morale by one. Um, let's see what the... Oh, you know what I didn't do? This card. I apologize, guys. We would do the top one. Which is... Oh, you know what? Yeah, our morale would be... Our morale's not going to change, but let's roll for the dice for the city. Now, the only kicker is we rolled the three. It's going to change what we have. We can't roll a three. A one, that's fine. Oh, it's actually perfect because that doesn't... Oh, that does change because the nurse only stops the morale drop during the night phase, not the action phase. Um, oh, and minus two. Sorry, what does it say here? For one student artist that is not at a location with secure token if possible. Oh, crap. I kind of messed this up, didn't I? <laughs> no, you're good, Mike. You're good. Um, this should be down two more. I might have messed up this here, guys. I apologize. Minus two here. And minus two here. Yeah. I totally forgot to play that card. Totally forgot. Yeah, what, what might have messed this up, this playthrough, is here. The order of operations. This one might have been down lower before I was able to end the action phase. Oh, you know what I could have done to prevent that? I could have just dropped her off here. I, I end my turn there instead. Let's do that. Because that way, at least one, two. This would be one, two, three, four. Yeah. At least this way, 
this would be accurate. Yeah, well, I'm just having a wreck on that a little bit. I just won't move as far as I did last time. So, okay. I think I caught, I think I fixed everything. Apologize for that. Now we need to do patrol. That's right, purple. Uh, morale drops. We did that. We did the. Did I do this roll? I don't think I did that roll. Let's roll out that. Six. As a mean place, though. Oh my goodness. This is all sorts of bad. Okay, now soldiers are going to move white and purple, which is this guy. He's moving to S. Here. So it's going to hit the informant twice. One, two. And there's no more purple people moving. Sweet. Cool. Look at this card. Hopefully you forget to remember to play it. time. <laughs> Upgrade. Minus two um, safety and my location. Optional. Plus one alibi. If you... If you are on a location with a nurse or doctor, check for illness. Oh, because I'm doing what I'm supposed to be doing. That's interesting. Or minus two morale, minus two safety at the hospital. Um, most likely I'm gonna do the second option for that one. Yeah. All right, flipped these over. Flipped them over. Pull these back. Let's put one here for sure. <laughs> that one needs to be fixed in a big way. This one needs to be fixed. And let's put another here because I'm likely to move through that location. Actually, I'll probably move to cafe. Put them there instead. All right. Let's stick with the strategy of taking care of the artist first. Yeah, let's do that first. So let's spend two actions right away to take a peek at though the next two two of these uh, possible locations. Four in the countryside or six in the countryside. So let's look at those. Four is here. Six is here. Oh, that's really nice for the poet. Violinist is one, two, clear path here. That's that's nice. That is very nice. This needs to be fixed up, but we can work on that. Let's do it. Let's do it. Okay. If I use this token, it drops the safety. Uh, greedy doing it <laughs> crab what do i need what do i need what do i need another contact okay now let's do carry the burden so I'm going to move two spaces with that. Oh, you know what? Maybe I won't. Let's go two up here. And then because I have a full suit, pregnancy suit, that goes up to the max. Okay. Yep. Generic action. Let's move... The violinist, one, two, down here. Now we need to improve that safety as max as possible. I need to roll a six. <laughs> Ideally, I need to roll a six. Two, that's okay. I'll take it. That's what it is. Let's do it again. I need to get us at max. I need a four. That is not a four. I'm going to spend an information token, which I have, to reroll that die. That is a one. That's even worse. <laughs> Darn it. <laughs> uh, why? I think we'll still be okay, though. I think we still make it work. I'll, spend, I'll use my pregnant card just for the action. Let's improve safety again. Three. There we go. Finally. Okay, I got... 
one action left. My last card. I'm going to use it just as a normal move. And I'm going to carry... I can move the student here. And then I can move my second spot here with the poet. Yep. I don't want to use that because that's going to drop the safety of that location. Okay. Yes, that's it. Now we have to do our card. <laughs> there we go. We do the right side. Minus two morale. Um, minus two at the hospital, specifically. So let's drop into the three. Okay. Now we do the artist stuff. And make sure I do this right now. <laughs> okay. Um... When we gain, they're at the spots, they're at max safety. Yeah, we gain two morale. Yep, we gain two morale. So, all at max. This one is going to move to six. Oops, that just knocked off the board. And the poet's going to move to the four. And that is completed. So, we completed that, that already which is excellent. Now, I believe they still stay on the board, and I think they still cause problems for us. So I might want to like move them to a nurse or doctor token so they don't keep dropping dropping the uh, the safety in those locations, in addition to what's already going to be dropping. So, all right. Now we do the danger stuff. Speaking of which, drop one here. Drop one here. And drop one for me and one for the poet here. This one doesn't drop because the doctor's there. That one just drops because the nurse is there. And there's nothing else that drops. This is going to get used. Increase morale, which is at max. Increase the safety of that by two. This is going to get used. That increases the safety by two. Cool. Okay. You know, guys, I'm feeling feeling like we're doing okay. But this is the last easy card. It's gonna ramp up. It's gonna ramp up big in a big way. And then we'll just, we gotta get all the students together. The students are gonna be the hard one, hard part. So Okay. Now we do Patrol card. Uh Mine's from Morale. Roll for a city spot. See what we get. Rolled a six, which is the zoo, which is the best spot to get hit. So it's got all the safety we need. Um, all occupiers move white for that card. In the blue region. So blue, 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 right here. He's moving to I. He's the only one moving. So he's gonna drop the safety of the zoo, another one, which is totally fine by my, me. Cool. Next round, here we go. Our next occupier card is Risky Evening Walk. Minus three morale, which is probably going to do or one move. We have to move our safe road. Um, and then resolve a halt card on the policeman level for this movement. And then whatever spot you move into gets minus two safety hit. So you get a bonus move, but you got to deal with a card and some safety. Um, I might do the right side for that one. Okay. Right. Now we gotta work on the students. Looking at what I have over here, we've got two contacts and one one money, which is what we need here. I just need two resources of anything. And looking at where I'm at, I can just get resource here. So I might just do that. But first let's put down our resistance fighters. I'm going to put these at locations that need help. The hospital is not looking great. And let's put it at the church. And then this one, I'm just going to put it at our spot because that's going to be convenient for us. I have to go back and get the student. That's okay. That's totally fine. So, 
Request. Use this one to get a free resource. Let's get a information token. Let's do a, oh, these are all ready to go. Sorry about that, guys. I'm gonna use the first one to do the action at that location to get a contact. So there we go. Oh, I have to get that student down here. I forgot about that student. All right, let's do a normal move. One. To escort back this way. One, two, one, two, come, come with me. Okay, this is gonna be kind of nice actually. I'm gonna play group 2000. I'm gonna choose the bomb effect, moving zero to one. Oh, that didn't quite work as high as I would hope. <laughs> no, I'm not gonna do that yet. I changed my mind. Let's use this one first, carry the load. So one action, I'm gonna gain two food stamps. Because I can use the distribu distribution office for that. Now I'm going to do group 2000. Oh, carry load also increases morale. Let me do that real quick. So this is going to be 0 to 1. So I'm going to do that with the student. And then I'm going to spend that information token I have to um, get a helper card. I'm going to get this one. This one is Maria, and she's going to increase safety by five of a location. It's overkill, but I'm going to choose the location we're at because we need that fully, fully safe. So I was able to like combo an action, a couple actions together for that one. Now, we've got the three students there, which is excellent. I have the resources. Let's spend this action to spend our one money two contacts, and then two of any resource. I'll get rid of these food stamps. And that will then make this a secure location. We have all the students there, so that's going to activate immediately, according to my understanding of the rules. So let's look at that together. As soon as the number of students is at a location that's secure, you hold a meeting. Yep. Put the students back on the bottom of the stack, which isn't going to matter because they're all coming out anyway, but that's fine. Um, and gain a helper card. We'll do that in a second too. Okay. 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 So we're gonna gain. Um, yeah, we're gonna help a card. But we did complete that, so we're gonna move this marker. That was at three here. Another one at three. So now we need two and six. So this one's gonna come off the board. And we've got two more costs at two and six. So six is the zoo, which we need one contact, which we have, one document which we don't have, and the three of anything. That seems pretty nice, actually. The second one we have is um, food stamps, documents, and two of anything. That's gonna be at, oh wait, sorry. Six in the countryside is the meeting place. And two in the countryside is the informant down here. Okay, so this one's easier for us to do. But we now need to add all five students to the board. All five. So, and they're gonna be at the city locations up there someplace. So here we go, first one, three. Um, that is going to be at the bank. Then we have two at the hospital. Five at the church, one at the printer, and the last one is six also at the zoo. Okay. They're all over the place. <laughs> all over the place. 
But all we have to do is bring them to this location or this location. And it has to be secure when we win the game. That's all we have to do. Okay. Oh, and we get a helper person. I'm going to choose this one. Annie Marie. You get plus one on morale and plus two to our alibi. We'll get our alibi even closer to not being negative, which would be great. I was able to jump in while you're playing. This was so fun to play with you. Oh, yeah. Hey, how are you going to do, Baron? Yeah, Baron and I played this one. Um, we pre previewed it together, actually, on Tabletop Simulator. Um, I have a video of it up. So this was a fun... We both really enjoyed this game. This is a fun one. It's... It's got it's got a lot. The one thing I, uh, I'll do a review of it, but like I really like how minimal downtime there is in this one. It's really really fun. Okay, how do I get all these students to one of these locations? I have one action left. I can use that. I can use this card almost to our advantage. It'll force me to move. But I think we're okay with that. Yeah, let's try that. Okay, what I'm going to do, my last action. I got the pregnant card. I'm just going to use it for the action. I'm going to move two spaces up here. Okay, that's it. Now I'm forced to play this card. I'm going to choose move o over a safe road one. And so this is a safe road and I'm going to bring that student with me. <laughs> so, um, cause I'm thinking I want to go down here. I want to trigger this, we get all the students here for that ability. And we're going to move this student, this direction. I have to go back and get all those ones down. Here. That's gonna be a little tricky, but that's okay. Move one. We have to resolve a halt card at the policeman level for this movement. And also this is gonna hit by two. One, two. Yep, two, because of because that, that risky walk. Now, how this works in solo mode is you'll take one of the cards and you'll cover it up and then you'll flip it over. And you, you the nice thing is these are laid out so you can reveal only what you need to reveal. So I have the Lesha Evil, and that's gonna look weird, so let me turn this off. There we go. Sometimes you have to choose between two bad options. You're being questioned, and you can either give up an important contact or mention a safe house. Neither option is good. If you mention the contact, you do not know when and where you will find somebody this valuable again. If you name the safe house, it is at risk of being raided. You do not have much time to decide. I feel like... <laughs> I feel like... If I choose the safe house and we get a random raid, that's pretty horrible because if they raid one of our our resistance fighters or our uh, the people we're escorting, that could lead to disastrous consequences. So I think the best one is give up the contact. Yeah, it, it moves fast. Keep your toes for sure. Let's do that one. Um, give up the contacts. Here we go. You give up the contact. It was hard to give up one of your own. You know through your network connections that the occupation forces were already mobilizing to arrest him. Still, it hurts to lose a valuable asset. Um, so we do the police level. So one, minus one morale, minus one contact, which we do have, okay. No one contacts in possession, lose two alibi. Oh, that was the right call. That was the right call. That was the right call. Um, actually, wouldn't one, actually, the other one would be okay as well. Yeah, the other one would have been okay as well. That's fine. Cool. And that was that. I love. There's so many of these cards. It's it's awesome. I love it. You're not gonna see. You're not gonna remember these cards. I don't think. So that was the end of the action phase. We don't have anything else to resolve. Now we do danger stuff. This one is gonna drop t twice because we're both there, almost causing a raid. I'm gonna drop one here. This one's gonna drop one here and one here. Okay. 
And one up here. Oh, and this one too. I think I got them all. Now let's resolve these. So this gets spent. It raises up twice. And morale up. This gets spent. It raises up twice. And morale goes up as at max. Okay. <laughs> and nothing else we have to worry about. I don't think I missed anything else. Here we go. Moving on blue. Nice morale, of course. City gets hit. Let's see what city spot gets hit. Number one, which is the printer, which we have a nurse there, so nothing happens. That's great. Um, all soldiers in the region, which is blue. Blue region is... Oh, you know what? <laughs> that kind of sucks. That's okay. Is bound to happen. So we don't have any soldiers or officers in that area. So if we look at the bottom of the card. It says, no occupiers in the blue region intensify one road in this region. So we automatically add a policeman to that spot. Um, I think the best option would probably be this spot here. Okay. So you don't get a, you don't get lucky in this game. <laughs> you don't get lucky. Speaking of which, uh, we're in the harder difficulty cards now. It is going to ramp up. Are you, you sure that was the right call? I'm sure you contacted the next one. That's true. <laughs> That's true. All right. Next round. Let's take a peek at this. Mind someone morale. And choose for each artist. Uh, we either lose... We lose alibi and two safety at the artist locations or minus one printer or minus one information. So that's not great. If I get those information, we should be okay. We have to give them, I have to give them something. I have to give them some information. Very thematic. I like it. But I, this is why I think the artists stay in play even though we're done with them because cards and effects, they're going to mess with the game. So. Okay, let's think about where we're going to put our freedom, our resistance fighters. Let's say freedom fighters. Um, distribution office is probably going to get hit. We're we moving green. Moving green. Is anybody in green? That's a lot of, there's a lot of guys in green. A lot of guys in green. Okay, I think we're going to be okay wherever you put these things. There's so nothing like dire. But I want to get the zoo. No, I want to get the this meeting place up. So that's, where, that's where we're aiming for. Or do we? I lost my resource. So it doesn't really make a huge difference where I go. I could choose this to be the secure location with, for the students. Could make that work. I do like this ability a lot, which is really a fun ability. Um, nice thing about that ability, it lets me, it removes um, or downgrades those policemen and officers, which is great. Um, I don't think I'm gonna. Don't think it makes a huge difference. This one it gives me the resource I need at that location. So we'll I'll stick with the original plan. We'll still go here. We'll make this our, our our secure location. Now, ideally, if I would move the artist and a doctor or a nurse over there and just like pile up people there with a doctor or a nurse, that would be great. Because right now they're spread out and they're gonna keep hitting all these locations. I can't keep them all secured. So let's worry about let's put the request there i'm gonna go here for sure and let's go try to get you out of there okay and we get all the morale all the morale by the way i am playing on easy difficulty so if you're watching this play team like you're thinking you want a bigger challenge trust me you can get it there's a lot of a lot of um difficulty settings for this game Okay. I want
to move someone over there. Let's do, let's move the nurse. She's not doing anything up there. Well, she's protecting that spot, but I don't really care. One, two, one, two. One more action. Meeting place. Cool. Okay, so she's there. That's going to fix itself with, if I don't use that token. Now I need to get over there. Let's do these last two tokens to run with. Oh, let's do the first one. Move two over here. Let's use the request to drop the safety. We'll get an information token. I wish you could carry more than one person at a time. I cannot. Um, bummer. Bummer, bummer, bummer. Let's do this one to move twice again. Let's move the student here. One, two. Okay, so we got just piling a bunch of people here with the nurse. <laughs> so, um, let's do group 2000, move zero to one. I'm gonna get the information token for this one. I'm gonna move up here. Get the information token I wanted. So I've got the two information tokens I need for my occupier card. I've got this one here. Let's use it to get a resource. I need contacts. We have a contact resource. Okay. I still have two more actions. Yep, this will work. Use my pregnancy card just for a normal action. Bring the student down here. And my last action, I'm going to use it to do the meeting place option to gain a document. So now I'm full, and now it says, if you have all four spots on your special character card filled with resources, plus one morale, which is true, plus one morale. And we got this mess here, but we do have a nurse there, which should help protect us. So now we have to do our bad card. Minus one morale. For um, and choose for each artist. So our morale drops one. So each artist, we are going to spend our two information we have to not worry about that stuff. We, gi we give them some information. Okay. End of the action phase. We would... Oh, no, the, the danger phase. Sorry, danger phase. This one is going to drop. This one is going to drop. And this one's going to drop. And this was also going to drop. Okay. This one would drop, but because the nurse is there, it's not going to drop at all. And then we can actually use this request token to raise our morale and raise the safety of that location. Hey Ryan. Oh no, feverish kids. Sorry to hear that. How are we looking? Well, I'm looking fairly, fairly good, I think. I got students all over the place that need to get corralled to this location, but um, work on it. We're working on it. <laughs> so, okay, that was that was the danger phase. Now I have to do the patrol phase. I feel like I'm missing something, but I maybe I'm not. Okay. Green patrol. Uh, drop a morale, of course. Minus one to a city spot. So let's see what city spot gets hit. Two. Oh no. Oh no. That's not looking good. Okay. All soldiers in green. We're gonna move black and all police move will move white. So here, here. Just those two guys. These two guys are going to move. So the soldiers are going to move black. 
So this guy's moving to A, which is going to hit this one twice, so 4 to 2. And these guys are going to move white. He's going to go to C, hit this one once, oh gosh, and to D, hits this one once. Wow, we almost had a raid right there with our with our um, students sitting there. That was that would not be good. <laughs> that would not be good at all. Okay, done with that. Reset our morale track. Get back our tokens. Uh, definitely put one up here. <laughs> That's not looking good. Moving yellow this time. Yellow. What is yellow? We have nobody in yellow. No, we have this guy in yellow. So he's moving. Which, yeah, we need to make sure that doesn't get hit again. Okay. Our job is to get that student out of that risky location. And ideally moving as many of these as we can down here. The problem we have is we got a lot of trolls out there. But we can move the policeman, I mean, the, the doctor, one, two, he can move up there. That can help. Well, not really. One, two, three, four. We have a clear path. I'm not worried about moving these guys. I think we're okay. And we are here. So let's put one here. I don't care about the zoo losing its stuff. Put another one here. That's that's a problem spot. Okay. Here we go. Occupy card. Let's see what we get. Knocks on the door. We have minus three morale or minus three in our location. Um, probably gonna be that option. Otherwise, minus three alibi uh, and on each adjacent location, minus one safety. Ugh. Do not like. Uh, uh, we'll have to see about the adjacent locations. That might be... We'll have to see. We'll have to see. So we're here in the safe spot. Lots of stuff here. You stack the uh, students. So we got two students there. And we don't really care about the um, violinists right now. So put tuck underneath there. One. Two. Let's do that first. First action! Run! Up here. Let's re use this request. It takes a hit on the safety. But we can get any resource we want. Doesn't It doesn't matter. I'm getting information. Because we just need the re resources. Okay. That was free. Let's use another action. To go up here to this student. One, two, free spot, free path. Let's go ahead and you. Oh, I used our request. We're gonna cause a raid. We can't do it. We're just gonna run with run with this student. Go with me. Go with me. One, two. Okay. Yep, we're gonna do it again. One. Use these last two. One, two up here, one, two here. So that's gonna bring all the students in that location. Okay. Oh man. Now they're just all two away from that nice spot. But I've used all the generic actions we have. Let's use the pregnant card. We'll just use, use it as a normal action. I just want to move as many of these people as safe as possible. One, two. There we go. Do I just go back and grab another one? I think that's my, my best option. I think we're just going to be boring. Be boring and use these just as their actions. Unfortunately, my carry the burden is not going to trigger. We don't raise the morale. But that's going to be another one, two. One, two. There we go. I think that's the best bet, because that way they're all protected. Yeah, come with me if you value your life, exactly. Come with me if you want to live. All right, so that is it. We did all our actions. We have, this is secure, this is safe. Well, not secure yet. We need the resources, but 
I need two more resources to make that happen. I think we can easily do that. Especially since that re that meeting place gives us a resource. So worst case scenario is two actions to do it. Um, this person needs to be back here though. Let's look at what we do for this thing. Minus three morale, minus three safety. Nope, don't want that one. We're gonna do an alibi hit. I'm gonna take a three alibi hit, which is still gonna be in the minus one zone, so that's okay. And minus one safety on each adjacent location. So this one gets hit, and this one gets hit. Oh my goodness. Oh wait, this one as well gets hit. That's adjacent as well. Okay. <laughs> Now we do danger stuff. Nurse is here. We ignore the danger there. Awesome. This this poet's causing problems here. Nothing there because the doctor's there. And then this student is causing this zoo to be a little more dangerous. Oh, and then this request is going to increase that twice. Um, it does also increase our morale. Sweet. I think, oh, this one as well. We'll do the same thing. Okay. That is it. Now we do patrol stuff. Yellow patrol, here we go. Might as well morale. The city spot is getting hit. Let's see what's gonna be hit. Number one's getting hit, which is the printer. Oh my gosh, that's so close to getting raided. Um, and then all soldiers in the yellow region will move white. And all policemen move black. And I think this is the only guy we have in yellow. It is. And he's a policeman. He's moving black. So he's moving to... Oh. Down here. So he runs through the hospital. Hits the hospital one time. Okay. Okay, guys. Here we go. Reset this. Draw our occupier card. Um, resolve the top patrol card. Additional, minus one safety if an occupier moves over a location with a person hiding. Oh my goodness. Can, uh, canvassing, the, canvassing the area. Otherwise, minus one at the location with a person hiding in each adjacent location. Minus three morale. Oh, it's a horrible, horrible card. Let's see if we can win before that happens, though. We might be able to do it. Yeah, I think we might be able to do it. So, first things first. Let's go ahead and... Oh, no, what? Hold on, hold on, hold on. These cards, these guys. Let's put one here. Let's put another one over here. And let's put the last one up here. Okay. First action, which is the meeting place ability to get documents. Cool. Now I'm going to use carry the burden, an action, and because all my spots are full now, it's going to increase morale. So with that action, I'm going to run up here for two and increase the morale. Use this request to gain an information token and drop our safety of the zoo. That's okay, the zoo is just getting hit. Put it on our board here. That was free. I think we got it. So if we do this, we can move twice here. Now we have to secure this location. Let's do that with this action. It's gonna be one contact. Oh, no, I'm short. No, no, I'm good. One contact I have, one documents I have, and three of anything, which is an info, documents, and another info. That's three things. So that is now secured with this little token. But nice thing is, because we have all five of them, one, two, three, four, five, yep, five people there, it's secured. That is going to move this to six. And we have officially won the game because all those, we had three meetings and we had artists perform three times. And that is the end of scenario four. Woo! Okay.
that is it for the solo mode for Orange Shall Overcome. Ah, this game's fun. As it's the first time I played Cinema 4, I might have made mistakes. I apologize for that. There's honestly a lot going on. Um, but looking at the board, we had we had three more rounds after this to complete everything. And this was at the easiest, easiest difficulty level. Um, is how, how I set it up. So if you're worried about what you see, saw it could easily be wrapped up for sure. Um, I enjoyed this one though. This is fun. And I really like how all the scenarios feel very different. Um, it's also probably hard to see watching it, but all locations have different abilities. So I'm watching those abilities, trying to figure out which abilities do I need to trigger to help with what I'm dealing with. Um, like my morale is struggling. So I was probably going to hairdresser, in, not my morale, my alibi. Probably going to fix that right there. So. Gabba student meetings, yeah, Ryan. <laughs> yeah, you got it. So, but I really want to show you how solo mode works on this one because it plays very, very differently than how it normally plays. Of course, you can dual hand it. Um, I feel like this game plays well solo, so no issues there. I do think it's better co op because it's more fun to have people read the the halt cards, for example, and the, the the talking, the cooperation between players is just more engaging. But it's a fun time. It's a fun time. That's going to end the stream for tonight. Uh, Wednesday night, I'm taking a break from playthroughs, and the plan is I'm going to do... I've never actually done this, which is kind of crazy. I've been doing content for, like, I don't know how many years now. I've actually never put together my top games list of all time. So I'm going to do that Wednesday. I'm going to do that live. So I've got my top 20 planned out. So I'm going to reveal that to you uh, Wednesday. So we have a fun little countdown top of our game. So... Hopefully you can join me live for that one. Um, it's in the event that's not up yet. I will put it up shortly after this playthrough. So you can be uh, be aware of how that happens. It'll be the same time, same place, same bat channel. Uh, so that'd be, that'd be fun. And we do have co-op chat coming up this Saturday morning as well. And that one, if you are a supporter for us, we have supporters on Ko-Fi, which is the one I recommend because uh, there's just more, uh, more options there. But Patreon is another option as well. So if you're at the Guildmaster level, uh, you will get a get access to a special channel in our Discord, which you can join live and chat with us. So that's coming coming up on Saturday morning. So as long as one is amazing night, you'll be okay. We have to wait to find out, Brian. Wait to find out. Uh, but yes, and I'm glad you enjoyed the one hit heroes play. Uh, that game isn't on Kickstarter yet. That's coming up real soon. That's a great game. Definitely check out that playthrough. It's a really fun one. Uh, shout out to Mike from One Stop Co-op Shop. He was the one that uh, reached out to me. He's like, hey, man, got this playthrough. I think you're going to really dig it. Um, and he was right. I do enjoy it. It's all right. And uh, it, it has, it's been, yeah, we've sent it to a few of us. Uh, Colin actually did a playthrough of it as well. Meet me at the table. I think Barrett might have played it. I'm not positive he played it. I think he did too, but... I know Colin really enjoyed it, for sure. So go check that one out. That's a really cool game. Uh, there's some really good games coming out. <laughs> so, yeah. And like I said, this one is coming back to Kickstarter. Uh, I'll let you know when that happens. I'm just kind of watching the uh, watching the news feed and waiting for an actual firm date for that one. Cool. Like I said, join me for Wednesday and Saturday morning. We'll see more on the Co-op Guild. And, of course, if you have any questions, drop in the comment section below. If you like what you see, like and subscribe helps us a ton, helps us grow. Uh, and if you have any questions that you just want to come chat with us or join our join us on our Discord, it's free to join. Just hang out there. We talk about co-ops all the time and kind of goof off. It'd be, be good times. So that's all I got. Yeah, good night, Brian. Good night, everyone else. We'll see you next time at the Guild. Bye-bye.